Daniel. Yes, Daniel. How come there are so many identical bills? What's the point of having three employment non-discrimination bills, three insurance non-discrimination bills, and three freedom to marry resolutions when they're all identical? Isn't that redundant? Well, Daniel, I'm glad you asked. In all of those instances, one of the bills was filed in the state senate and the other two were filed in the house. So let's start with why it's helpful to have identical versions of bills filed in both the house and senate. The process for bills to become law has many, many steps. And all of those except for the first step and the last step have to happen within the 140 days of the legislative session. First, the bill has to be filed on either the house or senate side. So let's assume we're talking about a house bill. The bill is first read on the House floor. Really, they just read the bill number in a short description called a caption. Then the bill is referred to a committee, with each committee handling a different subject area. The committee holds a public hearing, then, usually at least a week later, they vote on whether to report the bill back to the entire House and make suggestions for changes to the bill. If they report favorably, the bill is sent to one of several calendars committees that sets the schedule for the House. The calendars committee set a date for the bill to be debated on the floor. The bill has been read on the House floor a second time, then debated, maybe amended, then voted on. If it passes, it goes back to one of the calendars committees, which sets another date for floor consideration. Then the bill is read a third time, then debated, maybe amended, then voted on. If it passes, it's sent over to the Senate where the whole process starts over. <gasps> read, referred to committee, heard in committee, reported on by committee, maybe with suggested changes, placed on intent calendar, voted on take up from intent calendar, read, debated, maybe amended, voted on, voted on take up out of order, read, voted on again. <gasps> Then if there are any differences between the version passed by the House and the version passed by the Senate, a conference committee of five senators and five state reps has to meet and work out a compromise. And the compromise goes back to the House and voted on, back to the Senate is voted on, then both the House and Senate agree to the compromise, and the bill goes over to the governor, who can either sign it, which means it's law, or not sign it, which case it comes law in 30 days, or veto it. <sighs> All of that in 140 days. And actually, I've skipped several steps to simplify the process. But here's the cool thing. If you've got versions of the bill filed on both the House and the Senate, they can start the process on the respective sides simultaneously. Then whichever gets out first can just replace the other one waiting on the other side at whatever stage in the process it's at. This saves time and it makes it more likely that the versions passed by the House and the Senate will be identical, eliminating the need for a conference committee. So having duplicate bills on both the House and Senate makes it more likely that a bill will pass and become law. Seven Equality Texas endorsed bills have versions filed in both bodies, and we are very excited about that. Well, that explains the Senate bills, but why are there duplicate House bills? What purpose does that serve? Those duplicate House bills show leadership. For some members of the House, people like Symphonia Thompson, Mike Villarreal, Roberto Alonso, Eric Johnson, Garnett Coleman, Rafael Anchia, Mary Gonzalez, and Jessica Farrar. It's a top priority for them to be leaders on issues facing the LGBT community. Filing legislation, including duplicate legislation, is a way for them to stake their reputations on equality and freedom. It lets their constituents back home know that doing the right thing is a priority for these members. There are 181 members of the Texas legislature, and theoretically, all 181 of them could file an employment non-discrimination bill. Frankly, nothing would make me happier. Those identical bills, they aren't redundant. They're proof that we have strong allies in the legislature who are working for us.